So there's a ton of development going on in Collier County right now. And my guest this week, Rick Locastro from County Commissioner District 1, is here to talk about what's happening in our district. Rick, what is going on? Well, you do see a lot of construction all over the place right now, but, but really that's all over the country. What I'm focused on is making sure that we have balance and cohesion. Um, mm -hmm. Right now you see a lot of lots that are zoned commercial and because building residential is so profitable for a developer. We have a lot of developers coming to the county looking to rezone you know, certain mm -hmm. pieces of property because it's more financially um, beneficial to them to build something sure. residential. But what we have to be careful is some areas that are zoned commercial are zoned commercial for a reason. If we just haphazardly approve everything for to, to be um, residential, then you know if you live in that community, um, in a five mile um, radius of, of your home, you can only eat at one restaurant because there, there isn't enough balance. So it's finding that balance. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've always said that I feel passionate about is I'd rather see nothing built on a piece of property than the wrong thing. But right. people also have to remember that when they see a wooded lot, somebody owns that. Everything mm -hmm. isn't the ever Everglades. And so if a property owner owns that and they want to pursue legally and ethically through the county um, options that they can um, utilize sure. to develop that property, they're citizens as well. But we have to make sure at the county level that we're finding balance and cohesion and we're not getting suckered in with something quick that um, in the end, you know, it doesn't stand the test of time. I always say once you build it, it's like the pyramids. It's there for a thousand years. <laughs> so you better make sure that that's exactly what you want in your yeah. community. And and we do have the um, latitude to be able to work with a developer or to just put our foot down and say, you know what, this this doesn't fit or you're asking for too much. But then there, there's also certain things that developers ask for that they color within the lines, it meets zoning requirements. And we just can't say no because a thousand citizens sent us a petition and said um, they want that lot to be a, a park um, instead of a, um, you know, a set of apartments or, mm -hmm. or whatnot. Um, uh, Everybody yeah. wants to park in their backyard. Yeah. Let's yeah. face that. Yeah. And what about, yeah. I know that we have a lot of storage facilities. We do? Yeah. Mary, in, really? In District 1. I don't okay. know. I don't get it. So <laughs> so this is one of my hot buttons. Um, I can't unbuild the mistakes that have been made in the past. And, and to me, they are mistakes. Right. I said previous on your show, when you drive down the main drag of US 41, that's prime real estate. Um, mm -hmm. Every other place I've ever lived in the world, storage units are five blocks off of the main drag yeah. and they're behind another warehouse. Um, mm -hmm. They don't need to be in prime real estate. Uh, what I've discovered in the short time I've been in the seat as county commissioner is we have um, large inconsistencies on how zoning and approvals are worked in different parts of Collier County. Different mm -hmm. districts have um, uh, certain PUDs, planned unit development, uh, rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Golden Gate has the Golden Gate Master Plan, which is great for them, but it means in that community, if you wanna build something, the vetting, the filtering process mm -hmm. is much more aggressive. In District 1, what I've discovered is um, we have some pretty loose um, you know, uh, zoning approvals. There's not as much of a filter that you have to go through in some cases. And I'm doing a deep dive into that so that we can have more consistency across the county. Mm -hmm. So if something has to go through five different levels in a different district, I want to make sure it has to go through five different levels in District 1. Yeah. And in some cases, the reason why you see some things on certain corners and you scratch your head is it didn't have to go through a very um, difficult uh, vetting process. No. The the developer uh, met the zoning requirements. Yeah. They didn't ask for more density. It wasn't too high. And because it met the requirements, the commissioners might not have even had to vote on it. They could just apply for permits. The permits were given. Maybe it went to the um, you know the uh, hearing examiner, got approved, and boom, next thing you know, bulldozers showing up. Um, I'm working really hard to slow that yeah, down smart. aggressively. Well, we love it. You know, we need somebody looking out for us because we do want consistency in our areas. So if you'd like to see more about what Rick has to say on other episodes, make sure you subscribe. <laughs>